Hello, hello everybody. Welcome to the channel if you are new and welcome back if you are already a subscriber. Today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys what I bought from Coffee Monster Co. during the Emoti Heads sale. So, I'll explain that and what it is while I actually open and we can go through that. So, the Emoti Heads sale is when Helen offers all of the Emoti Heads as full sheets. Now you can either get them in a slim or a full sheet. So it would actually probably be super helpful if I had a full sheet handy. So let me do that. Let me grab one out. Pause for effect clearly. Okay, so a full sheet is this big. Okay, I opted to go with the slim sheets. I don't use emoji heads nearly as much as I should because honestly, I don't really have a lot um, because I have never uh, really been particularly drawn to use them. Um, and I kind of got to a point where I was like, they're actually kind of funny to like use for a few things. So I wanted to start incorporating them more. And one of the first things that I ever bought was like the mega sheet, um, which I, again, don't have handy without digging around for. So let's pause for that. I really was clearly not as well prepared for this as I thought. <laughs> um, and I have two versions of this. I have a slightly used sheet and then I have one that literally only has one missing out at the bottom and I think it's the mind blown. That is what tracks anyway. Um, so basically all these are available and then there's like some um, empty ones that you can draw your own in like I drew in kind of a sick nauseated face one because at the time I was going I drew that basically um but I just never colored it in because I didn't want to smear the ink yet um but all those are available during the emoji head sale and you can get them in the slim sheets or a full size I opted to go with the slim I know I sound really redundant because quite honestly again they weren't something I was pulling a lot of and I just kept kind of noticing that I felt like they would be a really good addition to my planner. I was finding myself like marking something down that was like, whether it was work stressful or like a meal maybe that I cooked, feeling completely bonkers, being annoyed with something like, especially if I was memory keeping more than writing to-do lists. So they had a purpose. The other thing that you'll see in this order is I had to have a reship done of my quarter two, my quarter two subscription snail mail. I'm just having some mail issues at this time. And so I actually skipped um, anything that really wasn't tracked. And I think I even skipped my Washi Wizard this subscription. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna wait until the overstocks hit the shop and get what I need from there so that it'll be tracked. It'll all be in one thing and I'm not paying extra for shipping because shipping costs can be a little crazy. So I am not going to worry about going through this because I've already done a whole video and I just want to put this in with my other quarterly subscription items so they're all together. And then this is the freebie for this month or this past month, past month. So this was the freebie for July just super cute. We've got the no time to write, which I definitely want a full sheet of, uh, the scribble scribble, the uninspired kind of ones or messed up ideas. And I actually did get full sheet, a full sheet of that. So I'm really excited because they were offered in the birthday sale. So a little bit of a spoiler alert there. So all of these are the emotions that I got. So we're going to go through all the ones that I picked. Um, let's see, add to cart. I absolutely agree. Um, a lot of the emojis that I picked were ones that either aren't available outside, mostly that aren't out available outside of this sheet, like the hot and the cold, I don't think are available any other way. Um, 
Yes, kitten. Sorry, the cat wants my attention. I have been very busy with work today as I work remotely, so hopefully she will not jump up here while we're trying to do this video. Um, but like I said, I opted for the slim sheets, which are about half the size, which honestly, it's going to take me, even if I used one of these every single week, um, either on a spread or on a daily page, it would take me a while to get through these. And I really didn't see the need to get a full sheet yet until I kind of start to gauge what I'm using the most of. I waited for a really long time before I even bought this set. I'm making sure everything's in frame. Um, I waited a really long time before I even bought this set because I really wanted to make sure it was a sheet that I felt like I would use all of the emotions on. And this is like literally the only one that I was the most attached to. So um, that took its own time. So we've got, um, unfortunately it doesn't tell me like what the actual emotion is. It's got like the number correlated thing on the grid. No ma'am, do not. <laughs> She is determined and I don't think I'm going to be able to stop her. I think I'm just going to have to remove her when she gets up here. So brace yourselves, folks. There will be a cat sighting. Um, so we've got kind of like the sick. I ordered these while I was on vacation. Yep, there she goes. <laughs> okay, thank you. Um, sorry, this is a clunky little video today. I'm excited that this is finally here because there have been several emoji head sales that have taken place that I have not participated in. Um, so this is the first one that I've actually been able to do and justify. Um, so I've got a sick one because I kept kind of having like a nausea issue when I've gone on vacations over the last few years. I finally cracked the code um, of what I think is the majority of the issue, which is do not drink mimosas or anything with citrus in them. Uh, until I have something on my stomach. So that sounds really simple. Don't know why I didn't think of it earlier, but it is what it is. I got the eye rolling one just because um, I think it's super cute. Um, and there's plenty of moments in my work day or meetings that I have to be in or calls I have to take where I'm like, Honestly, I feel like the eye rolly thing has been me since I got back from my trip. Every single thing that should normally take me 15 minutes has taken hours, hours, guys, and involved so much nonsense because it might have been something that my coworker started before she went out for surgery, then I was watching over and then I had to pass over to someone while I was gonna be out on vacation and now I'm coming back to it to then give it back to her. And that's way more people involved in something than normal. So it it's a product of the out of office things, but still it's really frustrating. I got the hot because I thought this would be so good because it's still like, it's very dog days of summer here. It's very hot. Um, I woke up this morning and it actually kind of had like a coolness in the air, which felt great. I've got this super tired, exhausted emoji, which is also kind of how I'm feeling lately. I like the hearts emoji. I do. I liked the heart eyes versus whoa, the Roman stuff everywhere versus this heart one. I have, I think, do I have a lot of these? And I'll tell you guys how I decided as well. Cause I know it can be like hella overwhelming. I know I have this one here. I also have a lot of, um, freebie style emoji ones. Like this was part of, I think, um, a freebie set that was offered in one of the sales or something, maybe like a Black Friday or birthday sale or something. It was like one of the tiered things. And I think I literally cut them off at that tier every single time so I could get as many of these as possible. Cause I love a sampler when I'm traveling or for just like my everyday carry bag so that I have all those like emotions um, at my disposal and I can just peel them off quickly and have um, like a good assortment. So, I like the idea of having the heart eyes one because I didn't really have like a big, big stock of them. So I thought that would be really nice. I like this like, whew, um, like exciting thing. Like that would be something that I would probably use for like 
um, I have all this shit to do, but it's fine. It's all on fire. It's fine. We got through it. Or if I'm embarrassed or something like that. Um, I got the feeling crazy because again, most of what I'm writing in my planners is usually like work related or content related. And sometimes I just feel either really overwhelmed, really crazy, or really exhausted in those categories. Um, I liked this kind of like awkward smiling. I would, I really want to find out what the actual emotion is and like write them onto each sheet. So I think I might do that and then post it. Mind blown, pretty obvious, already kind of using them. Definitely wanted a full sheet. So I'm gonna take a quick opportunity to say how I figured out what I wanted to do. So I took this big full size sheet and I compared it to a few other like sampler sheets, like the washi sheet and this and um, other emojis that I didn't really have like a sticker to portray and I literally went through the whole grid like line and row by row and I was like okay I like this one why do I like it like if it were um like for instance like the hot and cold I think that's a lot easier than me buying like the big ice block emoji or the like melted emoji like the heat wave ones so it was a way to convey that particular thing without using a larger sticker I hope that makes sense um and then I just kind of went from there, like, okay, I would like to use this emotion or this emoji more, or I really document a lot of like that feeling. So what do I have in my stash already around that? If I have two or three things, then I'm not going to get it and I'm going to bypass it. If I don't have anything for it, I want to go ahead and get it. So that was my, uh, very, um, strategic logic and planning there. I like this kind of like sad, disappointed one. <laughs> I like, like it, but I don't like that I like it. I feel like I've kind of talked about this in some videos, basically since April. I have just had some stuff happen in my personal life that really kind of upset the apple cart a little bit in April that carried over into May and we're still trying to find some type of equilibrium and I don't think that we're gonna find that anytime soon then on top of that we had a new hire in my office that I'm working on training my other co-worker is training me we're starting a few new reporting processes which are taking time to learn so it feels like my whole whole world is like in a purgatory state of I'm in between in personal and professional and there's very little landing rest island areas happening which is causing me to not be able to be as consistent with the channel as I would like to be or I am typically or with my creativity so it's making it I'm having to adjust and I am not pivoting and adjusting very well and Sometimes I am that emoji because I will, for example, plan a self-care night and then something will need my attention and I can no longer have it. It's life. It's part of it. Um, but especially when you're already not getting that in your normal pockets, when you take the time to like plan and allocate for that and then it goes kind of belly up, you can't help but feel like that face. So I definitely want to get that. I liked the dead one. <laughs> For the same reason as the exhausted, uh, exhausted one, like when you're just like, you can't anymore. Um, annoyed faces. Again, that's going to be more of a work thing. Um, cussing could go for anything. I really feel like I should have probably gotten like a full sheet of these for sure. Um, this is, I have a ton of work to do and um, I don't know how I'm going to get it all done. That's what that face is. Um, this again, I really feel like I could have gotten a full sheet of, if you guys have hung out for any amount of time with me, then you'll know I am a foodie. I love to cook and I love to eat and I love to work out so I can do those things. Um, I wanted to get the angry face of Modi because the only ones that I really have seen in the shop are the ones that don't have the color and I liked the color. So I really don't get angry very often. I get angry when stupidity reigns supreme and efficiency takes a backseat and I get really annoyed by that. That's like my biggest pet peeve is like, I love to be a planner um, and I love, I love that trait about me. I love that I'm a planner girl. I love that I 
am, I know I just said I'm bad at pivoting, but I am actually really good at pivoting. <laughs> I am just, I am bad at coping with when pivoting is a constant, I would say, when like there's no rest <laughs> and it's just like a nonstop barrage. Um, and I really just could not, I really don't handle just like, why are we being so inefficient right now? And like watching it go down, um, it just makes my blood boil. So I wanted a sheet of those mainly for work. Um, I wanted to get these little like devil, One's because there is no sheet that has them. And I think that they're going to be super cute to mark um, like Halloween Horror Night stuff or hanging out with Taylor or um, if I'm feeling sassy cat. I just, I thought that it'd be really cute. And I like that it kind of looks like a little demon, but it also kind of looks like a kitty. And I have a black cat, so making her purple for a minute wouldn't hurt my feelings. Um, I got these for like if I have a headache or a migraine or something. Um, I can't remember what emoji head sheet that they go with, um, but I don't think that any of the other emojis really worked with me. Um, I liked the yawn, like early to the head <laughs> or early to rise or just being like, why? Like that's what I think of when I see that. It's like, why? Why is it so dramatic? <laughs> why are we not doing things efficiently or why is there so much work to do or why is traffic so terrible? Like all those things. I like the happy tear of like, I thought this would be really cute for when there's like a new release that I'm just like, Oh, that's so beautiful. Oh my God. That's so beautiful. Like tear. Or if I make something really good, it could also be like that. Cause Jeff jokes, like he'll wipe like a fake tear crying just because sometimes you need to cry. Frustration the puppy dog eyes. I think there's two versions of this um, because I've used like this looks more like sad. That looks more like puppy sad eyes. And this is more of like, I love you eyes, like cartoon character. Like, I don't know. I just like them. I like the bigger eyes. I thought they were cuter laughing because if you're gonna cry you gotta laugh too um the oh face um I just liked it I thought it was kind of cute of like kind of a gasp like we're gonna get to do something or maybe if I'm trying to make a joke of something or I don't know I think that's really cute I like the curious with the monocle especially if I'm gonna watch a mystery or something and then the cold because we are approaching cold weather season and I think that all of these will find a place in my planner. I think I got too many of them. I know for a fact I did because initially my cart was about $20 cheaper and um, I was at the beach and I went to purchase my cart and my cart reloaded and I had no clue what was in that cart anymore. So I had to go back through the whole grid process. And at that point there was an alcoholic adult beverage involved. So the cart ended up $20 higher. I didn't feel like going back through the grid to figure out what was, what was what. So I was just like, you know what, we're just going to buy it and we're just going to eat the 20 bucks and lessons learned, make handwritten lists. If you're also going to have a digital list and then sit on it. So that is my advice for you there. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this very random Happy Mail order that I thought would be fun to share. Um, I'm trying to rotate on Sundays like Happy Mail to actual craft material and then continue to have Wednesdays as planner only content. So that's where flip throughs are going to happen. That's where um, journal setups are going to, or like the planner setups and flip throughs and plan with me's and planning tips and tricks and things. Whereas Sundays are going to be happy mail hauls, vlogs, uh, project life. I think that's it. Um, kind of planning packing. I think I've done a few of those on Sundays. So let me know what you guys would love to see. I always love hearing suggestions. If you like more of something, less of something. Um, but if you also participated in the emoji head sale, let me know what you were the most excited about. Did you get slim sheets, full sheets? Give me all the deets. Also, birthday sale has already happened at this point. So drop that in the comments and let me know what you were the most excited about. Personally, for me, I was the absolute most excited about the inks. And this is coming from someone who does not own a fountain pen yet. By the time... 
I show you guys what I got for the birthday sale, I will have one. I have picked mine out. I know what I'm getting. Um, so I can't wait to share that with you in a haul video. But um, let me know all your add to cart dirty details. I'm here for it. Um, but until next time, enjoy creating your own little wonderlands. Bye peeps.